Alright, to settle the timing question, there's a T. You'll see three marks here. I don't know if I can get it on video. There's three marks. We're going to use the mark with the T on it. And that lines up directly with this pin on the engine case. And now we're going to the head. It's going to sit there and try and focus on my arm or whatever I'm working on. Four bolts on the valve cover. And this one's cast, unlike Barbie's plastic one. <laughs> okay. Two on the sides. Yep. He broke those loose first. Mm -hmm. Then he did these. Mm -hmm. And that's. Yeah, that will do it right there. These two here, and these four, and then. Yep. yep. And those shims. And I'm going to grab the. Still camera and get a shot of that. Does your damn Kodak take forever to after it takes a picture to store it? <laughs> where they go. It was a washer, I guess. Okay. I knew about it. This is your valve tappets. And there's two bolts on the quote driver side of the bike. And then he did one of these numbers. Now, a note here. Uh, the camshaft. Do we have to put right. this that's back in the, a certain good. spot when we put it back in? Yeah. Put the head back on. We're going to have to put this camshaft in a certain position or not. Right. Okay, now he made it look so easy. Got some tension. Here's, here's a, oh, there's a tension. Yeah, he pulled that out. Yeah. Pull it out. Yeah. Okay, that probably yeah, that's a tensioner. All right. 
hold on. It's awful tight in there. Yeah, I think it's got to be good just pushing up against that chain. Shim there, shim there. Yep, I see. Hold that. Okay. No, I mean... Oh. Hold this down. towards the back of it too. Yeah. Alright, let's go back and rewatch how we got that out. Okay. I don't remember pulling that sucker out. I do. I specifically remember that. Okay. For rag? Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> 